Hello, you scrunkers out there. I just came up with that intro on the fly. Hello. Alright, so, been a long time, huh? Yeah, uh, so, I've, uh, been doing some things. I've been, uh, taking a hiatus from YouTube for a little bit. I just couldn't find a, a consistent upload schedule, but I just found the next thing I want to play. Because, uh, uh, this kit just came out, like, I don't know how long ago, I completely lost track of it. So, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy Wario's Deluxe. Remember when I tried to play through it and then I just forgot to? Yeah, it's pretty fun, huh? Alright, let's, let's just, let's just do this. I've been excited for this game, and yeah, let's let's go. There once was a man named Wario who worked along with his fr a friend of his at Wario's own fast food factory. One day, however, the two men went missing, and they were never found since that day the factory's been closed due to people thinking the factory was cursed. Seven years later, the government decided to reopen the factory and start the production again. Worst mistake of their lives, huh? One man has gotten a job as a guard during the night. 12 a.m. first night. All right, let's go. I'm I'm hyped. Hello, Mr. McRoy, God, is it? This looks so good. I'll call you Richard if that's okay with you. I'd like to welcome you to Wario's Fast Food Factory, Richard. Oh, I'm James, by the way. Nothing special about me that you need to know, really. I, uh, I like to code video games as a hobby. Although I'm unsure if I'm really good at coding video games, I at least I love doing it, you know? And I've always wanted to be part of something big. Something that affects people, you know? I hope I can put my video game coding to good use one day. But I was fortunate to be one of the minds behind the reopening of this factory here. That's something I'm very happy about. But anyway, enough about me. Welcome to Wario's Fast Food Factory, a place with a dark past and a bright future, as we like to say. It's back in business, much thanks to your father, in fact, who invested so much and really kickstarted this entire reopening. The original owner, Wario, he hence the name Wario, of course, he, he, he died uh, seven years ago, you see, back in 2007. Tragic stuff. This factory closed off then, following that tragic event, as you may know, but now it's back in business. It grew popular due to a unique secret recipe for fast food that Wario used, so you bet we're using the very same one. Now you've been hired as a night guard in the factory. The job is quite simple. Be glad you're not here during the day shift, I tell you, where all the machines have to be operated and all that stuff. All you really have to do is to keep an eye on things. It sounds vague, I know, but it, it's not that much more to it, really. You're currently sitting in the main office of the factory, and seeing as the place hasn't been used for many years, we cannot know for sure just how functional the old machinery is yet. As everything remained intact, it's hard to say. That's why you need to remain in your office and watch over the factory using some brand new security cameras we've installed. Straight from Secure Incorporated. Just open up the pad you've been given and have a look around. Just make sure everything looks okay, pretty much. You only have so much power at your disposal at night, however. Try not to use all of it. Having that camera pad open drains some of that power, but even worse is the door to your left and the control room window to your right. As you have probably seen, we have installed some buttons you can use for each one of them. The red buttons will bring down strong metallic doors, and the white buttons will trigger lights in the respective doorways. Keeping these doors down drain 
quite a lot of power, as do having the door lights active. Please, only use these when you need to. When would you need to, you might wonder? Well, there have been rumors going around for years that this recipe that Wario was using that, and that we are using now was quite interesting to money-hungry thieves back in the day when the factory was up and running. So the doors, the lights, it's just for safety, really. Mandatory precautions, that's all. No worries. Just keep an eye on the camera pad, yeah? Otherwise, you should be good, I think, yeah? We are very excited for this new era of the Wario's brand. So, have a good night, Richard, and I'll give you a call tomorrow. Alright! Time for the first night to start. I'm, I'm excited. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, for those who are not in the know, which I doubt that there are any of you, but if you do exist and are watching this video right now, uh, this was an old fan game made around, yep, there they are, around FNAF's peak, and, at least I think, uh, and, uh, it was made by this guy named WW Wario, and, uh, is, a uh, very quickly made. It was, uh, uh, with a bunch of photoshopped in assets, and, uh, I'm pretty sure it started as an inside joke, just like Final Fantasy Sonics, too, but, uh... Yeah, this is a remastered version of it. And, okay, either this phone call paused time, or the hours are really long. Uh, there's Wario. And it's Waluigi. They are moving. Okay, make sure you do not use the lights or doors all too much, especially the lights. Hi! Please don't move from there. They are very active. God. Well, that hurts. Let's try that again. <laughs> uh, it it seems that I have failed to uh do my job. Yeah. I like how it's subtitled "hangs up phone." Okay, yeah, the night started. Power started going down. Man, I did not expect it to be this hard. Oh boy, they like they smooth. They don't ain't no for nobody. Okay, there's Waluigi. That sounds like movement. Okay. Camera 3, camera 8. Hi! 
Hi. Hello. That's that's fancy looking at you. Okay. This game knows how to nail atmosphere. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm shaking in my I'm shaking in my boots. Please, just arrive at the door! What are you idiots doing? There he is. Okay, two for one special. Just wait a second. Ooh, look at that. Why is it splashing like that? Where did he go? Okay, they're both gone. <sighs> Alright. Waluigi. Oh, there he is. Okay. Where are you go? Okay. They're approaching. Okay. Just want to make sure you didn't teleport. Where is he? Where did he go? Okay, there he is. Hi guys! Oh! Okay. The guests are arriving. Gotta have balls of steel. Alright, I'm managing. I'm managing. That's good. Okay. We're safe. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. We're doing good. He loves. It was the hallway, huh? Man. Okay, I should be just safe to use the lights. Yes! Alright, we did it. First of that complete. Whew. Oh.
Oh boy, alright, that was stressful. Oh? Yeah. Okay. Second night, hope I am. Hi there, James here again. I heard you did good last night. Well done, Richard. Thanks. Remember, if you see anyone snooping around at night, you tell us about it, yeah? We don't want another uncomfortable incident, like... Uh... Anyway, I, I heard from a co-worker today that you had questions about this place and its past. Well, the original owner, Wario, you know, businessman, he was kind, yet he wasn't free of greed and stress. But honestly, who are, really? He was clever. And he had that boss-type personality, you know? It was him and his business partner, Waluigi, who started this factory and the Warriors brand as a whole. I don't know much about this Waluigi guy, aside from him being known as the sidekick, kind of, or as the less interesting one. But Waluigi is said to have been good with words. Charming, convincing, clever, but also... Insecure? Living in his friend's shadow, putting Wario in front of himself. You know, a people pleaser. That's how people described him. But also a people knower, apparently. He knew how to convince people, getting them to agree with him. That's probably why Wario chose him to be his business partner. The two of them made a good team, apparently. They started a cafe. That was the first thing, back in the 80s, you see, in the late 80s. Wario's Cafe, it was their first business, and that's also where this secret recipe of his found its footing and grew popular. They closed it off fairly quickly for unknown reasons, actually, and the two men began in the video game industry instead a few years later, in 1990, I think it was. WarioWare Incorporated. Y you might have heard of it. It was quite a spectacle. And the ideas and products from there were impressive, to say the least. However, people called the place haunted. Rumors has it that even Wario himself claimed the building felt off. And WarioWare actually partly burned down a few years later, unfortunately. It must have been an electrical fire, I guess. But that's when they were able to found their third establishment, which was this very fast food factory. I think it was a lifelong dream of Wario to build this factory, and finally it was up. And things were going well until, you know, I told you the owner died. But that's not quite the entire story. He, Waluigi, along with three of their co-workers, completely disappeared one day. Gone. Nobody found them, heard from them, nothing. People had claimed to get strange vibes from the factory since day one, and the disappearance of these five didn't exactly lighten those rumors up. Some have even used the word cursed when describing this place. So what happened to them exactly? We, we don't know for sure. But I've talked long enough for tonight, Richard, I'm sorry. I just thought I would let you in more on the details of the past of your workplace, you know? I'll, I'll let you get back to work, and I'll talk to you tomorrow night, yeah? Okay. That was, uh, that was something. A little bit more about the lore. Although I don't remember anything about that cafe place. I've seen the entire series up to this point. Was that Wario's Origins? Or is that the second one? Man, there are a lot of poses for these guys. Hi, Luigi. How are you? I'm hearing noises. Should be fine as long as nobody enters these two rooms.
That door closed. It's here. Taking the risk. Yep, thought so. Okay. Phew. Man, these these this is this is aggressive. I did it. Phew. All right, let's give night 3 a shot. Richard, third night is up, and you should be getting the hang of this now, I guess. Everything's good, right? You tell me no. something was up. No, not really. I have to inform you about some upgrades we've installed today. As you know, this factory was built on an old piece of land, yeah? There were remains of underground tunnels that Wario turned into this factory's current cellar. At some point, though, the, the tunnels down there become unstable, and the deeper areas down there seem to be way, way too unsafe to enter. So, you know, who, who knows how how far these tunnels actually go, and who knows what they were originally used for. Anyway, I'm, I'm telling you this because, well, <laughs> first of all, don't go down there, yeah? But secondly, we, we kind of heard noises coming from down there today. 
footsteps, as some people here claimed, as well as singing. Sounds quite absurd to me, but, you know, take it as you want. We feared someone may have been trying to break in from below, even though that, that should be impossible, of course. Or it could be animals down there. That, um, yeah, cause that's we, we don't thing. know for sure, but there were sounds coming from down there, most definitely. So, just for safety, of course, we put up some more cameras down there as well. You should easily be able to access them on your oh, camera, shit. just like the other cameras, so you can keep an eye out on stuff. Um, we, yeah, the, uh, the, the, light, the light situation down there, it's not good. Um, so, <laughs> why have cameras at all down there if you can't see anything, right? Well, there is an emergency solution for now. Using your camera pad, you can flash some lights we've installed down there. Just in case you hear someone walking down there. I mean, the cameras have microphones built into them, so you should be able to hear sounds they pick up through your pad, yeah? So, now and then, just take a peek at those underground cameras and listen if their microphones pick up anything of interest. Listen for a few moments, though, before you brush it off as nothing. For all we know, if there should be something down there, it can take a few seconds before anything moves at all. In addition to that, because the cameras are so far on the ground, there might be some audio delay from the cameras and to the pad you're holding. So, based on what we heard today, and what some people heard, just be sure. Listen for a few seconds. Listen if you can hear anything that resembles walking, footsteps, singing anything like that and if you don't hear anything for two three four seconds i'm sure it's good to go and give the lamps down there a big flash if you hear something okay we don't really want anyone breaking in so be careful though we're we are on a tight budget as well so electricity at night is still limited so here's the deal flashing those lamps down there it, it drains quite a lot of power if there is no movement detection in that room. So therefore, please use those flashes sparingly. Only use them if you hear something in that room, okay? We don't really want you to suddenly sit there in the darkness for half a night with no power left. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll, I'll it update you tomorrow if anything else is to be reported, yeah? Good night. All right, this got way more interesting. There's something downstairs in the ba in the tunnels. That I have to listen for. Okay. Oh boy. I heard laughing. That's 
not ominous at all. Who could be down here? I'm thinking it's Peach. Like, they changed up the mechanics a little bit. Peach is to, used to be another clone of... from the tunnels, didn't you? Oh! I think she broke down the door. Well, everybody, I think that was a experience. I got handed to them. I really like it. Uh, very, Hello, Mario. Uh, the, oh, hi, Luigi. The, I, I was surprised. I, you do not know how surprised I was when I, when I saw the tunnels. I was like, so we stalled a couple cameras downstairs, and I was like, hmm? And I, ha I was just like, sitting there like, yep, this is classic, this is classic, uh, phone call, yep. And then I heard that the, and they talked about the tunnels. I was like, oh yeah, I know about those. And then and then they said they installed cameras. And I was like, huh, really? And I like, like, okay, so I'm guessing that the mechanic is, the Peach mechanic is that you have to make sure that Peach doesn't get out of the tunnels uh, by flashing her when you hear footsteps. I heard, I swear, I when I flashed it, uh, when I thought I heard footsteps, I heard laughter to the left. I guess that means I missed. Let me check the achievements. Let's see. A job one del com complete the pipe. Make it to 6 a.m. during a power outage. The last stand complete the final night. Scare immunity. Get jump scared by every character in the game. No holding back. Complete the all out mode with every character in maximum difficulty. And find the one. I think I know what that's talking about, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, and uh, I still don't have an outro. <laughs>